second graders to another math lesson. Today we're going to work together on lesson two for the week of May 25th through the 29th. Our objective for this lesson is the same as it was for lesson one earlier this week. We are going to solve addition story problems by using a variety of strategies in order to develop fluency. Remember, it is important to know and be able to use different strategies for solving problems. That way, we can choose which strategy works best for us to solve the problems efficiently. Read this problem to yourself as I read it aloud. Remember to visualize the story as you listen. Jake had 39 pennies. His mother gave him 22 more pennies. How many pennies does he have now? Think about what is happening in this story. What did you visualize as you listened? I bet you saw a bunch of pennies in your mind. How do you think we will solve this problem? Take a moment to share with someone at home or write down how you might solve this problem. What equation will we use to solve this problem? Correct, we could add 39 and 22 to find out how many total pennies Jake has now. To solve this problem, we are going to use a strategy called keeping one number whole. One way we can model our thinking is to use a number line. You can see that we are going to start our number line at the number 39 which is the first add end in our equation. Then we can add on the tens and ones from the second add end, 22. We will first add 20. 39 plus 20 equals 59. Then we will add two more. 59 plus 2 equals 61. So altogether, we added on 22 to 39. Jake has 61 pennies now. Another way we can model the strategy of keeping one number whole is to use a hundreds chart to model our thinking. You can see that we are going to start by shading in the hundreds chart to the number 39, which is the first add end in our equation. Then we can add on one to make the friendly number 40. 39 plus one equals 40. Then we can add on 20. 40 plus 20 equals 60. Then we can add on one more. 60 plus one equals 61. Altogether, we have added on 22 to the 39 that we started with. So 39 plus 22 equals 61. So Jake has 61 pennies now. You try it. You should now practice solving addition word problems using the strategy of keeping one number whole as you complete the addition problems set three. Remember, you can use a number line or a hundreds chart and don't forget to write your equations. Once you feel confident with this strategy, you should complete the addition problem set five as your assessment for today. Remember to keep your work in a safe place to share with your teacher. You can also continue to practice this strategy by solving problems on the more addition at home and addition problems set four resources. Well done, mathematicians. I hope you felt confident with your strategies today. Keep practicing and have fun.